How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been way too long and you've all been waiting for another video. Um, unfortunately, we do no longer have the Audi as I'm sure you guys might have seen. I loved the Audi, it was fun, but you know, I think it was time to get into something that suited me slightly more. Um, I looked and I looked and I looked and it was quite hard to find exactly what I wanted. But eventually after months and months of looking, not only is it going to be fun for me, for the channel and for everyone to see, as well as it's going to help me out for work as well, which is also quite nice. You can see behind me here, it's one of my, this is one of my old, one of my first cars, 1.4 Fiesta. Nothing exciting, but nice rims in it, had exhaust on it, but we'll see some more videos of this coming soon. There's some fun things in that. But yeah, I'm sure you've all been waiting for to see exactly what I got. I'm sure some of you have already seen on my Instagram what I do have, but then we can see it now. There we go. It is a WK2 Jeep Grand Cherokee. <clears throat> I'm not really well known or I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to the exact spec of the WK2s, but from what I read up, this is the WK2 Jeep Grand Cherokee. <laughs> it has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Um, which is a similar engine they have in some of the Chryslers and all of that. It has 210 kilowatts and I think about 349 or 368 newton meters of torque. Well, for now though at least, we will we'll get there and have some fun with it. Just going to do a smaller walk around the car, show you inside. I've already tinted the headlights and darkened those out a little bit which actually I think is the best look. I'll put a before and after photo in the video so you can see the differences between before and after. Nice 20 inch rims with nice tyres, the Grand Cherokee patch on the side. I've also really blacked out the windows and I have tinted the back lights and I've also wrapped the chrome trim around you in a gloss black which I think looks pretty cool I'll also post a photo of that I wanted to do a whole video but I didn't get a chance to and that looks quite nice on the back tow bar it is the Overland spec, 4x4, it comes with the air suspension with off-road 1 and 2 and a whole bunch of other cool gadgets and all of that. We'll go into the side of the car now, run you through a few things and then we'll show you the air suspension, start it up, hear the exhaust note as I said for now and then there's a quite a few more fun things to come. Let's have a look inside. Okay, grab the key. Show you the front headlights. <laughs> when you unlock the car first, you will have these semi lit daytime headlights. I think they're flashing on the camera, but you'll see later. These flashing, no, they aren't flashing, they flash on the camera. Daytime running lights and the headlights that come on. But when you start the vehicle, I'll show you just now, only the daytime running lights will be on when you start the car. Let's go inside. You have black and brown leather seats with the brown on the sides and the white pinstriping along all the edge of the seats, which I think is really cool. Also along the door, you have this wood grain finish over here with the chrome and the top section of it is brown and the rest of the door is all black. Um, you have your handbrake down there or your foot brake, as some people would like to call it. And yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but it's not as bad as I uh, once thought it would be. Let me show you the back. Ample room for second row people. 
with heated seats and aircon down there at the bottom. Also same wood finish and brown on the back doors. Plenty of leg room, these seats do come forward, I'll show you later. And this does come down for cup holders, which is quite nice. Let's go around to the boot. You can either open it by pushing the button on the boot, or if you take your key, double click the boot, and it will open. It's an automatic tailgate. So decent sized boot, full of space. This is my wife's car. This lovely boot cover that you pull over whatever you want to hide or up be seen. I have already tinted the back window so they are quite dark so you can't really see it but this is quite handy when your boots because you can't really see what's inside. That falls back over there. As you see there's space over there for those seats to come back even more. But underneath here is the spare tire. I'll just put this rubber mat on. I'm going to order a Jeep. A Jeep that actually fits slightly better but for the meantime this is fine. But she don't lift up here and you have a full size spare nice cargo compartments for jumper cables spare tire um, your triangle whatever other stuff you need and a nice little handy hook that you basically hook up over here so if you want to work on the back of your car or you get your spare out you aren't holding that with your head which i can imagine some people will be laughing at now just goes back inside there that goes down. Nice little eight inch sub that's built into the car. It's not bad. It has the, I think a Meridian sound system if I'm not mistaken, which is not bad. Nice little compartment there for air freshener and cloth. Has the built in torch. You've got a 12 volt plug point over here and then you your clips here for your cargo compartments, which is very handy and all of that. Now to close the boot, you can either double click the button on the remote or just push the little boot button it'll beep and go down hopefully you can see there's also lights at the back of the boot so you can see the inside it'll close down suck in click and lock it also comes with these really nice side steps that are quite nice i think if you go off-roading you'd rather hit that first and hit that underneath of your car it does have your easy entry exit that i have turned off but that is on if you want to same styling, the front seats. You have your all wear adjustable front seat for the passenger with heated and cool seats. Nice side cubby hole, ample space. You have your roof racks that you can add on your sideway roof racks on if you want to put a bicycle or carriage on top or and transport anything more it's very helpful especially for me for what i do it's quite easier also comes with a nice brink towing book a nice towing book it's definitely going to come in handy if you go cycling on the beach or want to go for a long drive away or a trailer especially a trailer for work for me it makes my life a hell of a lot easier you have these nice 20 inch rooms they're two-tone with like a brushed silver front with like a metallic -y pearl inside with a nice big 275 50 20 tires it's quite nice yes i already have name on the car already let's have a seat inside once you're inside key in your pocket or down there in the ashtray or cup holder put your foot on the brake and you can start up the car you have a nice big 7 inch screen in front of you to start the car up with all of your settings and a whole bunch of other things on it. So you have your rev over there, your engine temperature, petrol gauge and your speedo and your, inter not entertainment, more of your info of the vehicle over there. You can run through that, change that to that sort of style or you have your kilometers, car info, tire pressure is your terrain settings your entry x the car's currently in its lowered mode i'll show you that just now your drivetrain and your wheel off articulation is quite nice your fuel consumption your trip media car messages and this so you can set up 
all the little components of what you want around the screen. Speed warning and just leave it on that for now. You also have your 8.4 inch Uconnect that screen which I love which I previously had in my Dodge Journey before I had the Audi which I love this is absolutely fantastic you got your radio you have your media your controls for your heat and your cool seats your climate your chill zone climate your navigation which is fantastic very easy to use have around with that it's fun wherever you go it's quite fantastic to have your phone and then your settings with all the vehicle settings lights doors and all of that stuff just leave it there media then if you want to have a look from down here we have your four wheel drive settings you got your your snow your sand your auto your mud your rock your park setting that you can push down there whenever you want to or just you can automatically adjust it from your you click that automatically when you put it into park it'll drop all the way down low your hill descent your four wheel down low and your button to raise it all up your gear stick i know there's a lot of reviews online and people hate this saying that it's quite finicky and annoying i actually like the style of this i don't think it's as bad as what they say it is yes if you don't look sometimes you could possibly see something wrong however each each park reverse neutral and drive is all that's up there as well as on the screen over there you see it over there i did change it from the list where you have all of them there you can actually change it you can have them all listed over there and highlight which one you want but then you might get a bit confused so i've just put it to the single to display what gear it is in if you see if you see it says park now if i put it into reverse or neutral or drive i think it's easy enough to control and all of that if you see once the car is in park it will say entry exit meaning i can get in and out of the car the car's been lowered to the bottom and if you put it into reverse you get your park sensors all, all, all the way around the car pop up and your nice reverse camera that you will when you turn your steering wheel your lines will turn up to see where you end up which i think is fantastic it's also great at nighttime view as well as you can see it says ah oh, if i put it back into park it will pile up the p again um what it also has which is i think amazing is you have a massive sunroof it opens up halfway like that push your button again it will go all the way back for a second panel for the rear passengers push the button once it will open up the roof completely which is fantastic nice to you around especially if you're going off-roading or sort of drive around at night it's quite nice and fresh you can either close your vents completely or close it each one by its time you can stop it and start it wherever you want or if you want to close it completely hold it down the nice thing is if you don't want to close that then close the other one let's say your vent is completely open as is like that and i want to close it all one time push one button if you close this button which closes the, the cloth it will close your cloth first halfway you push it again it'll actually close the glass first and then close the roof instead of you pushing two different buttons it'll close it all automatically which is quite nice i will do a nighttime view of the car i'm going to change all these lights to the whiter lights it's much better um this is your steering wheel which i think is a really nice looking steering wheel especially for a jeep i don't like the older style steering wheels this is quite nice nice cheese jeep logo pedal shifters they aren't as responsive as i thought they were uh, that i thought they were actually would be but they're actually not bad also i think you don't really hear the exhaust notes on the car so you just sort of feel when it changes and you might think that it's a bit slow but it's actually not that bad controls for your seven inch screen in front of you your cruise control your phone your voice recognition your climate screen your screen off this is your cloud you can't push there or you can't push climate on the screen and control it over there which is nice and easy to use your passenger your side your park sensors you can put off if you're driving or in a car wash it automatically pops up when someone walks in front of your car so it is quite nice to be able to put that off eco mode on not that i care your traction control your little cubby over here for whatever you need cubby down here for sanitizer of course your cd player changer as well as a 12 volt plug over there as well your normal mirrors as well i'm going to change these to the white lights because i think in 2021 the car should have 
Atlee water lights and these yellow ones. <laughs> it, the car is not a 2021 model, um, however, it's pretty similar to the rest of them. I think from all the way from about 2015 to about 2019 or even 2020, they're all pretty much very similar. There's a few changes. I know the 2020 doesn't come standard, I think, with paddle shifters. I think I could be horribly mistaken, but I have seen a few YouTubers complain about that already. That if you want paddle shifters, you need to buy, I think, the 2019 and below. But you can just do what I did on the Audi. I'm sure you saw I just changed the whole steering wheel on the Audi, which you can do the same with that, but that'll cost you a lot. And that's pretty much it for the inside. The seats are heated and cooled. You go into controls. You go into vented seats, one click will be on high for the driver, second click low, third click off, same with the, same with the passenger. Also have heated steering wheel, which is, there's a thing, heated steering wheel, which is quite nice, not that we would need to use it in Joba, but it is quite an interesting thing to have. And heated seats, and the dimmer mode, which is actually very nice at night if you're driving on a long freeway. This will dim as soon as the lights, if you see it's quite dark, if you see lights coming towards you, it dims the whole mirror. So you just see most of the light, not the car being blinded by all of that. So that's pretty much the interior, but we'll do a slightly more in-depth video of each component from the end and there. Sanitizer. This is your automatic highlights, or your automatic lights, your dim, and all that. That's on automatic. That's pretty much the interior. Let's give it quite a nice little rev, see what it sounds like. It is limited to I think three and a half, half thousand revs, which is under four thousand revs. There is no exhaust on the car. Well, there's currently an exhaust, no customer exhaust on the car, but we will do that. I'm just gonna pop outside now, put the camera down, and I'm gonna lift up the car, then you guys can see what it looks like up and down. I'm gonna bring it from its current park position now, which says entry exit. I'll put it up to its normal ride height. Once it's in its normal ride height, I'll push this button again. We'll bring it up to off-road one. I'll push it again, I'll go to off-road two, and I'll push, I'll go back down again to off-road one, to normal ride height, and then I'll push it again to go into park, entry, exit. Let's go do that now. Cool, so you can see how much it comes up and down. So as you see now, it is, it is in its higher setting, which is off-road two, if I'm not mistaken, which does make the car quite high, which does make it look very mean and very exciting. It is much higher. Full walk and barely reach the top, which is quite nice. Quite a big gap there, as you can see. Let's get a nice clip of the exhaust. Not that it's too loud, but just for the meantime. So yeah, as you can see, it's not bad. It does have a nice tone to it, but we're going to be doing a lot with that soon. So that's why I had to quickly make a video. Not quickly, we'll just get a nice video so you can see how the car is now. And then I guess I can start doing something so that you guys don't decide on what I exactly do to the car. I don't think it looks quite nice now. Lift it up. It looks very mean, nice and high. Let me show you the engine made quickly. A little latch over here. Flip it, automatic on it. So it's the 3.6 V6 Pentastar engine. So we are going to be soon is taking all of this out. This is the stock standard air intake 
with a lot of baffles and silencing components inside there and over here so it will come out i've already tested it with something for like interim it does sound really nice but we'll actually get something made up for it and i sound nice but that's it for the somewhat tour of the video for today so yeah I hope you guys like it. There's many exciting things still coming on the, on the channel. Um, you guys will see everything, each and every step and each and everything that I do, which is quite nice. As when I started the channel with the Audi, there were some things that I had already started. So you guys can start on all of that. But there's a lot we're going to be doing with the Jeep. Slowly and surely we'll get there. That will be quite a nice, exciting build. As well as we'll also be doing some fun stuff with the Fiesta. Not too much as I don't really want to waste too much money on it, but there are thoughts possibly on turbocharging it. But you never know what happens. So we'll see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the Jeep. And there'll be a lot more coming on the channel with the new Jeep Grand Cherokee. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. And if you have any questions, queries on anything, please don't hesitate to comment the video down below. Cheers guys, see you soon.